Hello everyone and welcome to Magic Kingdom Keeper. So today I have a video that I shot at Disney World's Animal Kingdom and it is on the Gorilla Falls Trail. I'm going to preface this with just a few things. I just edited all the footage and this is my first ever time trying to vlog. I have a gimbal now and I had it when I recorded but I didn't 100% know how to use it to its best ability. There's some shaky footage, there is some unfocused footage, and you know what? That's okay. We all have to start somewhere. And is the footage perfect? Not even close. Are there cute animals? Yes. So I'm still gonna post it. There's some great information. I talked to some of the cast members and learned some of their favorite facts about the animals. And so it is still educational. There still are some good shots and I hope that you enjoy it. And the next time I go to Disney World, I have some tips for myself and I've looked up some things so that I could do a better job at vlogging. But as I said, it's my first time and I think that I will grow and my footage will get better. So this is just the beginning. Um, <laughs> anyways, now that I let you guys know how bad it is, uh, maybe it won't be as bad as I made it sound. And so you will be pleasantly surprised. You know, got to keep those expectations low so that you're less unimpressed. <laughs> All right. Um, as I said, welcome to Magic Kingdom Keeper. And I hope you enjoy some cool African animals. All right, everyone. We are heading on the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail so that we can put my two passions together, animals and business. And wearing my backpack so someone else will have to carry it for me. <laughs> So on one of these trails, which it should be this one because Africa is going to have naked mole rats and I'm so excited. And I will link below my naked mole rat video so you can learn all about them. 20 minutes of pure, unadulterated naked mole rat facts. And, and slight stupid comedy. <laughs> There's more people here than I thought. In the trail. Oh, that makes sense. Excuse me? I was like really confused. Asante Sama, thank you. Oh, colobus! These are a different colobus than we have. The um, Angolian? Mm -hmm. uh, might be wrong. And, uh, I can't remember what they're called. Oh, be the best oh yeah. Thank you. Baby. We might have babies soon. Yeah. That's why we got our females. Oh, I'm mad that I can't remember what these guys are called. <laughs> I mean, they're a colobus, 100%. You don't know what you're saying. And they don't sound like they sound like frogs anyway. They're the they're the frog monkeys. Okay. I work with colobus, but not these kind. Which of these kinds? These are black and white and golden. And golden. I was so close. So close. We just have black and white um, colobus at my zoo. Well, you have a great day. Thank you for that information. That baby is cute. Look at it. The baby. Where'd it go? <laughs> I thought it was 
down here. <laughs> oh, there it is. So Angolan. I was so close. Oh my gosh, do you know how excited I was when that Wilderness Explorer talked about SSPs? Oh, yeah. You know what that stands for? Survival plan. So colobus are um they have a stomach kind of like a goat. So they only eat leaves. They have really stinky burps. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Um, so they have, um, there are a few langers and colobus both have really similar digestion. So goats and other stuff. Okay. Which is pretty cool. Oh, look at that baby. They keep missing because it's so cute. <laughs> this is a fun habitat. Oh no, I got the baby really well right now. No, I have the baby. There it is. Amazing. These guys are cool. Um, two right, well, four right now, because we just got two new girls and it's mom and son. We just sent his sister away. I'm gonna ask the cast members now what their favorite animal fact is about the animal. Uh, okay. All right. Yes, ma'am. I work at a zoo, but I want to know your favorite fact about the okapi. That they were cryptids. I'm obsessed with the cryptids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Turns out they're real. They're real. So, you know, yeah. Could be real too. Yep. <laughs> Cryptozoology is a thing. That's it. That's what I'm exactly. About it. That's like, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they used to be my favorite animals and then I started working with primates and oh, you with primates? primates stole my heart. Oh. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah. I never thought I could like work with primates. I don't know if I understand. Honestly, I thought the same thing. I was like, oh they're kinda creepy and they're kinda jerks and whatever. And then you work with them and it's like they're not boring. So now that we saw the oak copy and it was super cute. I don't know why there's two trails. Look at this bamboo. We cut all of ours before it gets that big. Oh, yeah. We don't have anything that established. So on the left hand side will be the line to see our naked mole rats. Yes! Piles. They're the best. If that, you can keep to the right. If not, just hop in line um, on the left hand side. Okay. Nobody should skip the naked mole rats. I'm just saying. <laughs> They're pretty cool. Naked mole rat time. We would like to see the naked mole rats, so we are here. <laughs> I also got our African bullfrog in there now. Yes. Oh, good, good. He's quite a sight to see. And next figure, good to Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Mons. Oh, their setup looks the same as ours. <laughs> well, it's exactly the same. <laughs> they have more chambers than we do though. Look at they're in their nesting chamber. They're uh, so cute. I wonder if that's a different like ours. It looks like maybe these two different. Oh, I see them running through that tube or eating behind there. I think they have the behind space too. Oh, yeah. Yes, naked mole rats. Yeah, this looks, I mean, it looks like they use hydrostone and everything. It looks like the same, the same stuff. It's sleepy time. It's not eating time. And I don't see the poop chamber. That's a poop chamber. Oh, yeah. Pancake tortoises. We can't get up. 
Poop? Oh, maybe not. That might be substrate. I just thought that was poop. All right, I don't see the pancake tortoise. Oh, he's right over here. They're all oh, both over here. Pancake mm. tortoises! Oh, these guys are cute. We feed them. It's kind of trays like that. So, a constrictor. Oh, back in the back. Stripping that, I would say, so soon for now. Stripping that plant. Mm -hmm. That plant's placed there. It looks like it's grown Is it enrichment? There. It's a corn, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, look. Birds. Yeah. Maybe a, I don't know. A hammer top make a nest that big. You don't have to go over there. That's a lot of people. Those uh, yellow birds are not scared. And also everywhere. Oh, yeah. Look at that mess. Look. Yeah. Building a mess. Oh, cool. This is really clean water. Especially with the sand. So very clean. That is a hammer top. I think it's a hammer top now. I'm pretty sure. I'll have to look it up. I could be wrong. Oh yeah. Okay. We're looking up a hammer top. I think that's what it is because they make super crazy nests. This is cool. Look at all the yellow nests. Yeah. I could be totally wrong, but is the brown bird in there a hammer top? Yeah. Okay, because I saw the nest and I was like, that was a hammer top yeah, nest. Yeah, we got two in right. here. Okay, okay, because I was like, I don't like being wrong about it, so I was yeah. like, maybe not. Awesome. That's awesome. They're, they make the coolest nest. That's yeah, such a fun amazing. process. Yeah, yeah. All right, I got it. Hi. Who's your favorite bird in here? Um, I really like the Tibetan golden weaver. Okay. I think they're so cute. Yeah. And they're cool nests oh, and yeah. yeah. And just that they're like hanging from, from such precarious spots is right, kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. What's your favorite fact about them? Um bird fact I'm sure. <laughs> Alright, well that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks. Close to seeing our fa the family troop of gorillas here at Disney's Animal Kingdom on the Gorilla Trail. Aptly named. 
You do have to wait in a rat line if you want to see them because there are actually a lot of people with clothes today. But Expedition Everest has been closed all day, so that might be why. Are those juveniles? Is that a female? Small. Ours are. It's like a juvenile. Like an older. How old are these? How old are you? How old are they? Uh, there's a lot. Uh, seven girls in here. Yeah, it's 40. Well, it's only 40 to 70. One of her moms is 20. Her son or other mom is 27. She has a 10-year-old to 6 year old Okay. It's a good mom, then. Yeah, it's a good mom. Yeah, it's a good mom. It's a good mom. It's a good mom. It's a good mom. It's a good Oh, Got gorillas foraging on both sides right now. Can you tell me your favorite gorilla fact? My favorite gorilla fact? Oh, uh, if you don't have one, that's okay. I've been using them all for so long. Why don't you tell me what you are most interested in knowing about? <laughs> um, well, um, I, well, I don't work with gorillas, but I am at the Dallas Zoo and we have some. But I actually don't. I mean, I... You know, I know what they eat, and they have really thick fingernails because I've had to cut them in a procedure before. <laughs> yeah. um, but that's a good question. Um, well, most people don't even understand about bachelor groups. Yeah. But right. any, an any animal that is social and polygamous yeah. the way gorillas are, you have are to have bachelor groups. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't house, you can't have harems everywhere because then you wouldn't have enough housing for them. Well, first of all, their ratios are very similar to ours. Yep. It's generally 50 50 yep. with male female. So. If one has mo uh, several, then others yeah. just aren't going to be able to have. Yeah, we um, we have bachelor ringtailed troops because, which is oh, yeah. different because ringtails are matriarchal, so it's actually easier to keep males together because they're less aggressive. Mm -hmm. Not the same here, but it's it's an interesting why you keep bachelor groups that there are different reasons, obviously, for it, which is really cool. Well, you know, in the old days when we didn't know better, um, we kept those males individually, like yeah. Coral Ivan, you know? Oh, all yeah. By himself, and then he was by himself for so long. Yeah. When he did finally get to where he could uh, be introduced to some yeah. females, he didn't behave like right. an adult male gorilla. <laughs> so the females wouldn't accept him, and so he never did get to have yeah. a family. Exactly. Thank you so much for all your information. So... This is the end of the video, and I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, by far my favorite part was probably the Angolan colobus because that baby was so, 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 so ridiculously cute. But of course, I loved everything, especially the Nick Mole Rats. The gorillas were pretty cool too. It's a, it's a really cool trail and it's really beautiful and their habitats are super duper awesome and I really appreciate all the work they do to set standards for other facilities to have habitats that are that amazing. So thank you all so much for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.